today we're going to be doing some soft spoken as well as some whispering stuff like that stuff like that so i guess we're gonna just talk about whatever talk about whatever i hope you all have been doing super good super good i've been doing super good mostly um recently in the past hour or so I have um, it's for physical anthropology um, which is fun it's fun I've always preferred cultural anthropology um, over physical anthropology but that is just a personal preference um, last week we looked at um, skulls of hominins and comparing them, comparing and contrasting them to um, order primates, um, mainly chimps for that particular assignment, but um, there are plenty of order primates out there. We have um, bonobos, uh, various baboons, um, chimps, obviously I just mentioned that, orangutans, etc uh, etc et it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting um we were looking at various different skulls um we also looked at pelvic bones um so the two main um so we were basically adding up chimp-like versus human-like traits and how the amount of them changed over time over time over time so when you looked at the neanderthal skull and compared it to the homo erectus skull you would see that there were more chimp-like features in the homo erectus skull as opposed to the Neanderthal skull and but there were still less chimp features in that Homo erectus skull as compared to um, other early hominids as well as obviously the chimp so that is what I have been doing um, I think it's very interesting you know, you're looking at various parts of the skull um, for example um, if you look at the, um, the brow ridge the brow ridge the brow ridge of order primates they usually have it's bit it's like a ridge so the forehead usually curves inward and then you have the brow the brow ridge which isn't um whereas with hominids or humans it's more just flat down down um it's not nearly as prominent um obviously you have cranial size cranial size i actually i pulled up my assignment right here um so we went over that the um, foramen magnum position which is towards the back of your head if you feel the back of your head you can feel it curve inward and if you just press if you just kept going underneath that if you look at a skull without the neck or anything else attached I guess you can see the hole which is Thing that's pretty interesting um, with humans it's closer to the base it's closer to the center but with chimps it is further back it's further back okay okay um, we also looked at the degree of prognath prognath pro I can never pronounce this word prognathism <laughs> Uh, 
Isn't that funny? I think I hear something. Give me a second. Um, sorry about that. Um, so we also looked at the, the prognathicism uh, that we were just talking about, which is basically the jaw and how it pushes forward or back. Um, so with a chimp, it has a high degree of prognathicism. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But the jaw juts forward, um, which is less present in hominids progressively over time. Um, we looked at nasal bones as well. Um, chimps are more flat. Um, homo sapiens tend to be more angled. Um, the dental arcade, which is your teeth, your teeth, but not just your teeth, your, the whole like dental structure, your whole mouth, essentially, like, you know, your teeth, your gums, all that stuff. A chimp is more elongated and U-shaped, whereas a Homo sapien, it's more rounded out. It's not quite as long. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly, but here we go anyway. And then finally we went over canine size. Canine size. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Um, I could go into more detail, I suppose, but um, I don't want this video run too long and I also I don't want people being like what is this I don't care about this um but yeah 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 physical anthropology anyways um I also I also have um updated the membership stuff so if you I'd be happy to do um, more whispered rambles and soft-spoken. It was kind of supposed to be like whispered to soft-spoken, but I kind of soft-spoke most of it and then whispered at the other part of it. 
um, I sometimes forget to, to do that when I, like, I'm, I'm in the zone, if that makes sense. But anyway, 